as a community association member, I don't think I ever envisaged being where we are today. In those early days when we started off, it was just thoughts. It really wasn't really tangible that we could do things. Uh, Chinley is, is based in the High Peak. It's a small village which doesn't have much in the way of amenities with the exception of this building. Uh, originally, the, the parish did a, a parish plan, um, which a lot of people got involved with. And, and from that plan, the community association sprung up. At that same time, Derbyshire County Council were, were looking really is, is to get rid of the building. Uh, and it seemed a good time for us uh, to maybe think about taking over the building and making this the centre of the village. We use the community centre, the whole family uses it, from exercise class to brownies, cinema, and the swap and drop, so we use it for lots of things. Um, it's you know, a really good way of bringing the community together as well. As soon as we, people knew that we'd taken over the building, um, we were in, inundated with ideas of, of what we could use the building for. And from that, we now have uh, kettles, exercise classes, Pilates, yoga. We have a book club on a Wednesday that's now become a social point. And then we have the other things that are connected with the building, like football, netball. Um, we have runners, we have uh, Nordic walking. Uh, there's so many activities that go on now. And a lot are based at the the older generation as well, who really wouldn't get out if it wasn't for the building. Well, for me, it's, it's the heart of the village. Yeah. And it serves my great-grandson, and it comes right through the generations to us. And it's, it's a godsend, an absolute godsend. I mean, it's not even really thinking about it. It's not really just Chinley people that use this. We have people coming from outlying villages of Whaley Bridge and Chapel coming over here and using our facilities because they really haven't got the facilities over there. So it, it, it's helping everybody. Well, I think it's, it's kind of crosses all kind of aspects of society. There's things here for us, but they do a Nordic walking group and a baby group, and there seems to be everything in between. So, you know, I'm hoping to come to the sports things, but it's, really, it's been a really nice way to meet neighbours who I probably wouldn't have met during the middle of the winter. Um, and I think, yeah, it just gives everybody a, a kind of a common place to come and, come and be. This building originally was built in 1970 and the problem we have now as a, a wooden construction building, although the, the structure of the building is sound, the outside of the building, which is the cladding, the window frames uh, and the roof are all in desperate need of replacing. Uh, we've, we, we've patched up as much as we can, but it's getting to the point now we can no longer just patch. Uh, we have to do something desperate about it. But it's, it's an older building and it needs just making up, bringing up to modern spec really, so that we're not using so much electricity to heat it. We actually sent questionnaires out to everybody in the village, asking them what they would like to see happen to the building. And we got good feedback from that and it gave us, it gave us a good idea what people wanted. The, the thing about the building is that there's, there's so many memories that we've had various summer fates that have always had a different theme. We've had uh, Alzheimer's walks, which is now linked with our musical memory sessions that we do for dementia sufferers. My sister-in-law even got married here. There's so much you can do with the building if you just try. Losing this building would just be uh, just something you can't think about. And it's a possibility. If we don't get funding, we've nowhere else to turn. Um, that will be the end of this place. That will be the end of the building. Um, and that would break my, it would break my heart. It would break a lot of other people's hearts um, to lose this. It's just so important to the, to the village. Um, but it could happen. It really could.